David, congratulations, a win over Ronnie O'Sullivan, the world number one and the world champion. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, uh, just relieved really, because it took, took me that many chances to, to get it done in the end. Um, yeah, just relief really. It was a bit of a scrappy last frame, you know, you, you, you came in with a really good break and then, as I, you know, like I say, it was quite scrappy, but I mean, at the start of the match, you were 2-0 down. You know, how were you feeling at, at that point and uh, sort of what spurs that, that comeback? Um, yeah, just I just wanted to just get a frame on the board and try and try and find my cue ball control a little bit. Um, I managed to do that in the third frame and then uh, to make 90, I think, to go to all and then it felt, felt OK. Then felt like I could go on and win the match well, but, you know, it's sort of... It's when your brain starts thinking again, that's when I, you know, I was struggling to get it done. How do you combat those those thoughts? Because you're on the TV table as well, you're under the lights, big crowd. You know, Is there extra pressure there? How do you deal with that? It's a funny one. Maybe if I'd started off really well and then collapsed, <laughs> it would have been different. But because I started badly and then found a bit of something, I felt like, well, they, they know I can be good off that, so uh, just tried to get it won. Is that something you've experienced throughout your career? You know, you, you feel you're better as almost like a comeback player? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think the, the records show that. Um, sometimes it's a, it's a different mentality being a, being ahead to being behind, and uh, I've, I've never minded that, really. This is your first win in your career, not just against Ronnie, but against any of the current top four. Where does it rank for you? You know, is this the biggest win of your career so far? Yeah, I think I think it's got to be because it, it's such an occasion when you're playing Ronnie, and you, you know everybody's going to be watching um, watching on. So, yeah, it's a special one. Have you got any family friends out with you this week? No, no, just on my own this week. Um, I'll have to go and uh, change my flight on now. <laughs> so, uh, but that's good problems to have. Absolutely. Well, I mean, on that topic, talk us, talk to us about your your aims for this tournament. You, you have history in this tournament, not quite in Belfast, but you you are you know a previous semi finalist two years ago. In Milton Keynes, how much would it mean to you to get down to that one table setup again, but this time in front of the Belfast crowd? Yeah, it'd be on another level completely. Um, it was it was still special. I had a really really good week down getting to the semis, but with behind closed doors, if you know when you're doing it in front of, I mean, this is an amazing arena. I, I'd never played in the front room here until I played Dave Gilbert last year, and then I lost four 0 and then so <laughs> I'd, I'd never won a frame until the third frame today in in that main arena, and it, and it is a really nice arena to play. And uh, how you know how are you feeling about your your game at the moment? You know you had some pretty strong break building today, and each of the four frames you won. Of course, recently you just made the highest break of your career at the British Open. So you know how are you feeling about your game at the moment? Yeah, um, last last couple of matches I felt like I just I've, I've missed I've missed I've missed an opportunity to to kick on good good get well lost to Ali Carter last week, a couple of close frames, and then um, the match before Zusi um, I lost two frames on the black. In the middle of the match, but to be honest, those things have been going my way all, all season up till up till now, so I can't really complain.